psychologist tells us how pandemic fatigue is resulting in a release. This was the scene many motorists faced on Monday while attempting to leave or enter into Port of Spain as the fiery protests by Beetham, Silex and Nelson Street residents escalated, some were desperately trying to leave, fearful that their cars or even their life might be at risk. This is a second incident in less than three mm. years. CNC3 News reached out to security experts, AE Tactical, to get an insight as to what commuters could do if something like this happens again. So if you're in the vehicle and you identify that you could possibly continue to, to drive or move your way through a situation, ultimately that's what you do. I mean, secondly, you're in the confines of a vehicle, arguably speaking, unless, you know, it's an absolute grave scenario that, that you see that you, for some reason, need to evade and physically open your car door and leave, more than likely you want to stay in the vehicle. Mr. Hadid noted that many citizens have been calling for firearms to protect themselves, but he believes they must first learn situational awareness. He noted that what occurred in Trinidad and Tobago on Monday has been happening around the world, so it's important to know what to do. The topic um, in the country for a lot of citizens and personnel has been around firearms for FULs and pepper spray. Um, but us as a company and a corporate entity, we don't necessarily believe that as being a single solution to anything. Personal safety and situational awareness in a climate and an environment like Trinidad and around the world, anywhere we go, we have to be aware, we have to be alert. Mr. Hadid explained that the public can also assist law enforcement by just being informed and staying away. In the context in which we've been discussing, the public could certainly add um, to the betterment and the improvement of these situations by not panicking, staying away, relying on the correct information coming from the state and providing the support accordingly. A Tactical is also offering personal safety training for citizens who do not have a firearm user's license. Otto Carrington, CNC3 News. A FET scheduled for over a month away.